I'm Dan, your friendly indie game Viking. It's time to play Lost Epic. So let's see, let's do some character creation. At first, as you can see here, we have a lot of candidates, like this young striking man, if I would call it that. But hey, it's a devil down there with a tail. And also, I think she must have a tail also. That looks amazing. But still, I don't know. I don't know which one to pick too many. And I think we're going to be actually choosing also their voice. So let's see. No, I, I don't know about the devil head, but this one, this one has good potential. So technically, yeah, technically we can have, I think, <laughs> we can actually have a male voice for, a, which would be a pretty fun playthrough, but that's not what why we are here today. So let's see, everything is good to go. Look at that. The fertile mother got her band together with all the evil lords the castle defenders look at those looks like a good rock band i must say i like them on the right side they look way cooler and on the left side are more natural these other ones looks evil okay welcome to the first fight enemy encounter shows that we never met them before so let's give them a good old default attack and look at that critical hit there Ooh. yep and we get a little stats after that also nothing else to collect no so basically dodging makes you invincible for a short amount of time if you would need it. And if you think it's an odd thing that it zooms in a little bit, I think it looks really good, but it's default here. Look at them. Look at her go! With the dress and everything. Uh, dodging makes you invincible. New enemies again. Stab them. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Fast attack. Uh, more powerful attack and also, of course, a special attack. With that stabbing through the heart looks beautiful. There are combinations, of course, you can use also. Like one, two, three, and stabbing like that. Uh, this game is from the Earth Wars team. Uh, they previously released the game course Earth Wars. And I like the combat. Do I have to go down there to pick them up? No, I do not. So now you know that. So what are we really? We are a deity defying knight, a, a god slayer. If you're gonna be modest, who doesn't want to be modest? You can see we are a god slayer, or we're gonna be a god slayer soon. And this world is called Sanctum. So we have six big enemies to handle or take down in this game. Look at that, the flying beasts. Come here. Let me find a good attack path up. <laughs> it's so insanely fun, this combat. And they're kind enough to wait up there so we can stab them when we come down. Land, stab. Yeah. There we go. And we get some combat evaluation also. It's like a driving test. So far the game feels really smooth to play. Look at him. We haven't met him before, but I guess he hits hard. Yellow. Exclamation mark means we cannot parry it, but red means we can use our divine power to stab him like that. And he's dead. Look at us now go, I'm guessing it's heavy to swing, not like our good old swords. I'm not much for those kind of heavy hitters. No, really slow. Hard to hit. I hope I can sell this one or salvage it later. See, oh, more bugs, and I missed attacking there. Here we go. Sturdy shell. So here's a lot of dead bodies or skeletons, and I'm guessing over here there is a hidden room. Powerful insect medicine. Now we can heal the insects or something, I don't know. Yep. Okay, now we are just checking if, how long it takes before him to actually attack or if he just stands there and screams. So eventually he will come to us. There we go. But yeah, this is a 2D side-scrolling action RPG. Souls like Metrovania if you prefer that too. So you will see that later on if you see when we look at the map and also if you die, all the items will be placed there. Oh look at that! They brought friends. So let's take care of these tiny ones first. Oh, he just flew away. Oh, no. Dodge. Stab. Kill. Didn't kill him though. 
but combat feels really smooth. Uh, unless you get stuck in a corner and get stabbed with an axe, that is. But it's really smooth. Easy to... I was about to say easy to avoid, but then you have to press the right button. And at the moment they're screaming more than they're actually attacking. It's a boss fight. I can smell a boss fight. Yeah, even the music stop. Who is it? It's Divine Messenger of the Sacred Mountain, Loz. Let's see what we can do with him. He can jump, and he hurts actually when he jumps. That's an angry little animal. Let's see if we can lure him out like that. And I'm guessing he also has an attack. So let's see. A couple of good stabs. I'm trying to get a combination of three hits, weak attack, and then do something cool with a divine attack. But he keeps moving backwards. But we can dodge row. Oh, look, he wants to be petted on the stomach. No, he did not. Oh, what was that? I need to get a critical. Oh, can't parry that one. You filthy casual. No, come on. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There's the X I was looking for. Ooh. Almost like the game stopped for a second there. Large mass of Tamahanje. Don't know what that is, but. I'm guessing we will need it. Onwards, champions. All right, so at this shrine, we will now spend our hard-earned anima, as you can see, and you get three or six skill points. So now we can level up in the tidings. And then as you can see here, there's a lot of pages, so this is just one of them. Trying to figure out where to place them to get some more strength, skill, constitution, focus, and faith. And since I'm very casual in these kind of things, I usually set one of each path to begin with. But I would love to create one that one-shot everything. That would be tremendously fun. Okay, here's the map. And as you can see, in good old Metrovania fashion, I'm guessing we will run into obstacles in the game. Like, I can't reach this platform because I can't double jump like that. Or... Or I can't hit through a specific wall because I don't have the skill or weapon yet. So we have to go back and try later on when we have those skills. A really clever way to design a game because the path is already there. But you really don't get there until later on. And of course the enemies always respawn. So you have, to, you have things to do all the time. Hello good friends. Stab critical. And you... Oh, I love that attack. I never grew tired of seeing that one. Oh, and stab and... Oh yes, you can stab them and fall off the ledge. The environment looks really good. I mean, it's falling leaves and like fireflies. And of course, it's never far away for a group of enemies to appear. So far we've seen a little bit of variation of the enemies. But they are still fun to fight. I think you can parry these also. Uh, with their attacks. Uh, not like that though. Come here. Fly here little canary bird. Oh. That actually hurts. Oh. Yellow attack. And of course we're gonna kill him. Good to know. You can play up to one to three players actually in this game. And I would love to try that out. It looks really fun. And as you can see, we can grab onto ledges like this and traverse. So this is the Maze of Gloomy Grotto. Controls feel smooth. Uh, moving around, jumping around. No mistakes there. Dodge works good. And this is the updated version. It came out a while ago. There we go. And now we learn... A new one. You learn momentum bonus. Critical defense. Great. Oh, that's good. So if we find these type of stones around here, we'll get more skills. And I just landed in the middle of something horrible. A blue one this time. I don't know which one to f focus on first. I'm guessing this one. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Stab. Now we can deal with him. Nicely, and he has a chest icon. That's nice. So he drops the chest. No, we do not want to leave. No, without getting the chest. Come on. No. 
exposed sternum. That is valuable things to have. Grueling stone way. Still, it's the same type of enemies. Oh, did you see that one? I finally managed to land one. That is what makes this so beautiful. And give me all the loot and let's continue. And it's uh, it's going to be what they say a multitude of upgradable weapons, for instance. And side stories and side quests you can participate in. So we are just scratching the surface here today. Ow. And what is this one? This time it's the... Ooh, nice. You learn moment, momentum bonus. That's nice. Yes, we will enhance this weapon. And you know what? Every time I do something like this, I can promise you the next time we run out in the world, I will find a better weapon as soon as I kill a boss. But hey, that's how the game works. Should we do it one more time, maybe? Get some more attack on this bad boy? Yeah. There we go. Hello, friends. If I would compare this game to any game, I would say it's like Ender Lilies or Salt and Sanctuary if you played those games. Feels the same when you play those. But first, our friends uphill. Let's see what that pill bug does when he came rolling by. Can he come back up? No, he cannot. So did the monsters carry him up there and leave him in a downhill slope like that? That's just evil. Yeah, some more grass. I love grass. Yes, it's another one. And they have a sword down there. Can we pick up the sword? Perhaps stop attacking me. No, it's just... I, what did I tell you, by the way? Of course I'm going to find another sword when I spent all that currency to upgrade. But I will focus on the bird that seems to have a fire attack and a kind of swooping down attack yes and it's a star this is a nickname for a bastard ouch actually hitting pretty hard but eventually even the background music is perfect to this one almost like skrillex had a party with this bird and uh, wrote the theme music there we go target slain let's see acquire the fire falcon uh, no, that's the regular one, as you can see, up to the right side, that it's reloading its skill. Counting down until it's full again. Do I need to jump and do it? No, that's what's the same one. There it was, no? Yes, it was there, the spinning one. Uh, tidings, give me something good. Ah, now we can actually hit through the walls, as I was expecting. That is great. Let's test it out. That was just amazing. And now we can hit him again. And we got the ring this time. That is perfect. It's been a really fun game so far, really. And if you want to see me go after the god, by the way, how about you leave a comment in down below? You know what? Let's not end this journey here. You have seen the game. Uh, I have a fantastic game here that I think that you should check out. I'm Danny Friendly in the game Viking, and I always say stay safe and stay awesome.